Hey girl, hey! So I am finally back at home. I got back yesterday and I went to New York City for IMATS. This is what my haul is in New York City. So this haul is going to be in two parts, which is like the first time I've ever done something like that. So that's going to be kind of interesting. But this video that you're watching right now is the beauty haul of like makeup and stuff like that that I bought. And well, also not just at IMATS, but also just in New York City. And then my next haul is going to be my clothing and fashion items that I purchased while I was in the city. I'll have the link to the next one down below once it's up. I that was such an amazing time. I loved it so much. I wish I could go back like right now, but I can't, so I'm not. I have been vlogging every day. I vlogged every day I was in New York and I put them on my second channel, which is linked down below. It's youtube.com slash more Christy. So if you want to see what I was up to or watch my vlogs, they're down there. And also, me and some other gurus filmed a music video to Call Me Maybe that I thought you guys would enjoy watching. It's so much fun. We filmed it just dancing with random people in Times Square, and it was amazing. So, um, well, not the video, but just, like, the experience. It was really, really, really fun. So, that was weird. Really, really fun. You can check out any of those links. You can check out my Facebook page if you want to look at pictures, stuff like that. Um, yeah, it was so great to meet you. Hi, if I met you. And, okay, I really need to get into this haul because it's going to be long enough enough. Uh, long enough as it is. Yeah. I'm just going to start with the makeup that I didn't buy at IMATS. I'll do that last. I didn't buy that much outside of IMATS, but I'm just going to show you those things really quick. So first of all, the first night I was there on Thursday, um, I went to Sephora with AK Doll and Beauty Baby 44, and I actually bought two things. One of them, I, I don't know where it is. I, it's really frustrating because I really like it. It's a lip balm, um, chapstick kind of thing. It's like the Sephora brand. The only other makeup product I got is the Makeup Forever Professional Aqua Cream. It's a, just like a cream shadow, and it's in the color 13. Really, really pretty for like any look, basically. It's super neutral and versatile, but yeah, here's what it looks like in the thing. Yeah, and then this is the color. Like, look at that. Isn't that so pretty? I like it because it's like, it's darker than Bare Steady Paint Pot, so it's not like so washed out, but it's got like that golden tone to it. Ah, I almost just like dipped my finger in it. Here, let me see if you can see that there. Yeah, it's just a gorgeous kind of satiny, neutral, golden color. And when we went shopping in Soho on Sunday, I went to MAC. And um, this isn't very exciting, not gonna lie. Um, I just bought one thing, and it's a MAC Black Track Fluid Line. And if you guys know, I this is the first product I have ever bought from MAC, like when I started my YouTube channel two years ago. And I still use it. Like, is that horrible? I don't know, but like... It's like almost dead, like it's almost dry and gone, but I got a brand new one. This is the first time I've opened it too, so yeah, here's what it looks like. Um, it's just a gel eyeliner. Okay, so the last thing um, I got before my eye mats makeup is um, we went to Bloomingdale's, which I don't really have a Bloomingdale's convenient to me, so I don't really go there. This was a splurge for me, but I have been eyeing these nail polishes for the longest time. Like, they're so beautiful, and I got three of them. And they are the Deborah Lippman nail polishes. She's famous for her like glitter nail polishes, so I just couldn't resist, you guys. This is in Wicked Game, and I'll have to take it out to show you, but if I can ever get it out. So pretty. It has so many different colors in it. It's just like this really cool metallic kind of deep purpley blue color, but when you turn it, it's like every color of the rainbow. And you can't even see as well on camera, but I'm so excited to wear this. It's like I don't have a color like it at all. It was $16, and then the next two are glitters, so they were $18. I know, that is insane for a nail polish. But like I said, it was a splurge, and I've been eyeing them for a long time. Next one is Across the Universe. I don't need to show you that, do I? No. Kind of deep sea color, I would say, with all of these round glitters in it. And it has, like, green and cobalt blue and bright turquoise and everything under the sea get it instead of under the sun. <laughs> I know these aren't very springy, but I thought they were too pretty to pass up. Even if it's not like a spring color, I'm still gonna wear it because YOLO. And then the last ever lip and nail polish I got is called Forget You, and I thought this was so cute um, because it's kind of like the Happy Birthday one and it has rainbow in it, but the base of it is black. So I thought that would be so cool because what it's gonna do is it's gonna make the colors and everything and the glitter pop against the black of it. And I just, I really like, um, like, sparkles and multicolored against black for some reason. And I think this one is going to be so pretty on. Finally, my eye match bag. Um, this is the Royal Line Nickel Side. And this is the eye match makeup bag, uh, or shopping bag that they give you at the front check-in. And so it looks like this. And the first thing I got is this little pin that says, I give good face. 
it's just like a pawn because okay and um it's from this booth i think it was just called i give good face i don't know because that's just like their slogan or whatever I have this folder that they gave me with my press pass it's like the good i give good face brand again um so yeah the, and i have um my press pass in here and then i got a couple notes from subscribers it was really sweet so I think I'll just go ahead and get NYX done because I got the most stuff here and it was the one that I was most excited for too. So first I got this little eyebrow powder kit because I use the Naked Palette Buck to fill in my eyebrows, well at least I have recently, and I just, like, that's a pain because it's in a palette so if I want to take it somewhere it's just like I have to take the whole palette even if I don't plan on using anything else. So I figured when I saw this it'd just be really convenient to have it like this and it's nice because it comes with two different brow colors and they're both matte and then it comes with this white color for a highlight and little brushes to fill them in. A stick blush which I've seen these before and I thought it's such a cute idea if you're on the go and this is in pink lotus it's such a pretty color here let me open it for you and it just looks like this I like it because it's like super bright and fun for spring and it's just easy for on the go so yeah these are pretty pigmented for just a sheer but they're like they're sort of sheer so they're not like paint on your face um, but they're really natural looking and make your skin look glowy. A powder blush because I love the NYX blushes so much. They're really good and pigmented. And this one is in the color Desert Rose. I've heard this mentioned a few times on YouTube. Here, let me open it so I can swatch it for you guys. But it's just like... Oh. Adios. Really pretty deep raspberry kind of color. It looks kind of bright on camera, but it really does have that dimension to it. I didn't notice though is that it has a slight shimmer in it. I don't know if you can tell. It's really slight, but... I'm not a big fan that much of shimmery blushes. I mean, uh, I'll make it work. Then I got this glitter eyeliner. I don't even know what I was thinking. I was going a little credit card happy. Um, you know, like trigger happy for shopaholics like me. I was thinking of this for my lower lash line because I think glitter liner, and like on occasion, not like for every day, um, would be really pretty just like on a, a pop on the lower lash line. So it just comes with a small little brush and it gives you a really nice line like that. It's not like super pigmented with the glitter. You might want to swipe it a couple times and use it. But another eyeliner, this is the Studio Liquid Liner in Extreme Coffee because I don't have like a brown liquid eyeliner and this one is so pretty because it has like this um, gold kind of tone to it and I thought it was just really gorgeous. It's a good thing I made the two parts because I'm talking a lot more than I plan to. I got a mood lip gloss because I was standing in line and it just looks so pretty and I told you I'm credit card happy at this point. So it's clear. Oh, I gotta move fast. So it's clear, and then, like, when you move it around, I think it, like, adjusts the color. Yeah, you can see the pink kind of coming in there. Um, it's really sheer, but I guess it might mean I'm in a light mood. I don't know. I don't think it works by mood at all, but just, like, heat, obviously. I got three eyeliners. Um, these, I love the NYX eyeliners. They're super creamy and easy to use. So I got a white because I use my NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil and Milk for my lower lash line or my waterline and sometimes it's just too big and I poke myself and get it on my eyelashes. So I figured if it's so cheap and it's right there, I might as well get like a regular eyeliner and it's in white. So I'll use this for my waterline. And then I got Seafoam Green, which is a really pretty teal kind of green color. Uh, lavender Glitter. And I didn't know it was glitter. I thought it was just like purple, but Apparently it has glitter in it too, but I like the pops of color for the lower lash line, so that's why I got this. But it's super like, well, I mean, it's pretty. I mean, I don't think the glitter is that noticeable. I just got the green tea blotting paper, so I used one. And I don't really use blotting paper otherwise, so um, I guess I'm going to start. That's everything I got from NYX, and then next we went to the Jessie's Girl booth. That's everything I got from NYX, and then next we went to the Jessie's Girl booth. They had a whole line of Julie G nail polishes. Like last year there was only one, and this year there was a whole line. So there was tons of them, and there was three for $10, I think was the deal. So I got three of them. So this one I think is gonna be amazing for the summertime. This is in, are there names on these? Yeah, Kickin' It. And Jesse himself designed this. I got him in my vlog if you wanna see him. But it is such a pretty blue color with the duochrome of it. It's just amazing. So I can't wait to wear this. I think this will be so pretty like on your toes. It's in pink tiara. So yeah, it's just a bright pink with lots of glitter in it. It seems kind of childish, but you only live once. Really pretty purple color. I don't really have a purple like this with the finish of it. Because it has this like chrome kind of look to it with like gold and really pretty. So Jesse, he was so nice. He gave us all t-shirts um, that were standing there for free. 
he was just really nice. And then, so yeah, we got Jesse's Girl t-shirts. They're long sleeve. Let me just say Jesse's Girl. And it's got this like butterfly design, I think. Yeah. I got one thing from Stila and I couldn't resist because this is such a gimmick product, but I had to give into the gimmick because it was so cool looking. And this is the Stila Custom Color Blush in Self-Adjusting Pink. And it comes in this like really cute black packaging. Um, and this is like the one that's super hot pink looking. Like it doesn't look wearable, but it's supposed to like custom adjust. So I, I know I don't really buy into that that much, but I thought it'd be fun to try out. And it was discounted, so you can't pass that up, man. And okay, if you, I, I don't know, but if you've been to iMats, you know that just being there and being around all this makeup, you feel obligated just to spend your money on things. So I had to. And the last thing I got is for makeup and eye mats and everything for this video is this nail polish that I have been looking forward to for so long. As soon as I saw this, I like flipped and I saw it months ago in some video and I was like, okay, I have to buy it, no questions asked. And I finally did it and I went to the booth and I didn't see it and I was like, gonna, I was so mad. But then I went to the very end and saw, I saw one on the display. I was like, hi, can I pick this up? And he's like, oh, I'm sorry, we're out. And I almost like tore my hair out. But the guy's like, but I can sell you the display one. And I was like, yes. This is the OCC nail polish in Pool Boy. And he sold it to me for five bucks. And it is so cool. It's like the brightest, insane blue. And this is going to be so pretty for fingers and toes for the summer. Like, it's like insane. I love it so much. And I'm so excited I finally got it. That's all the makeup and beauty items I bought when I was in New York and at IMATS this past weekend. Um, it was so much fun. And ugh, my phone keeps vibrating because I'm so popular. <laughs> no. Oh, and I forgot to say thank you, thank you, thank you for 50,000 subscribers. I hit it when I, I landed back at home yesterday and I checked my phone and I hit it and it was like the most exciting thing ever. So thank you. I am doing a 50,000 subscriber contest and updates on that. I don't even know. I have been so busy lately that I'm going to try and prepare as soon as I can. And once I get like all my IMATS videos done and out of the way and stuff, I will get on that. So um, thank you guys so much and look forward to that coming soon. And I love you guys and I'll see you later. Bye!